children in our previous video uh, we had done the numerical related to average speed today i have taken a numerical in which we are going to find out the average speed as well as average velocity this numerical is from your book ncrt on the i'll let you know the page which is a page number and it is uh, i have taken the numerical from your book itself just pay attention now Usha swims in 90 meter long pool. Usha swims. She does swimming in a pool which is 90 meter long. The length of the pool is 90 meter. She covers 180 meter in 1 minute by swimming from one end to the other and back along the same path. How if she if the length of the pool is 90 meter how will she move 180 that means she will go from this side to this side 90 and then she will come back along the same path it is mentioned here she covers 180 meter in 1 minute it takes 1 minute for her to go along the full length of the pool and then come back for both the motions for going and for coming back together she takes 1 minute find the average speed and average velocity of usha children we know that average speed is equals to total distance upon total time taken so in this case what is the total distance covered by her she has covered a distance of 180 meter 180 meter is the total distance and time taken by usha is 1 minute since this unit is in meter i cannot take this unit of time as it is i have to change the s it into its si unit we know that si unit of time is second so i have to change this 1 minute into seconds so when i change i got 1 minute is equals to 60 second so we know that average speed is equals to total distance upon total time taken so total distance is 180 total time taken is 60 second that is when i reduce this i got 3 meter per second for her to go and come back her speed was average speed was 3 meter per second now we need to find out the average velocity average velocity is equals to displacement upon time so as usha had started from this point a she went to this point b this is 90 meter long and then she came back here and this is also 90 meter then total here if the initial and the final point is same in that case the displacement will be zero and time taken by her is 60 seconds so formula of average velocity is displacement upon time that is 0 upon 60 that is 0 meter per second so children i hope it is clear to you now how to find out the average speed and how to find out the average velocity average speed we get from total distance upon total time and average velocity we get from displacement upon time now children i think numericals are clear if there will be any problem you can ask me or send me your queries through your messages okay now i have to start your next topic that is known as acceleration now when i uh, suppose uh, many of you might be riding your uh, activas and all what happens when you start when Uh, suppose it is standing at your home in your house the, your scooter is standing in your house the what will be the speed at that time when the scooter is standing the speed is zero that means it is at rest it is not moving at all yes and when you kick it when you start it start suppose when you start it its velocity was 20 meter per second and then you give the race race then the meter gives you another reading that means the needle pointer has come from 20 meter per second to 40 meter per second from uh, that means the velocity earlier when you started that time the velocity was 20 meter per second and then 
its velocity when you gave the rays its velocity moved from 20 to 30 30 to 40 that means now its velocity is 40 meter per second and it has taken little time to uh, for the velocity to move from 20 to 40 when you give the rays it it is surely sure that you must have taken little time suppose one second two second three second four second jitna bhi time laga for the velocity to increase from 20 meter to 40 meter you have taken little time so this is what our acceleration is you give the rays that means you accelerate you accelerate you change the velocity so this is only the concept of acceleration the rate of change of velocity is known as acceleration rate of change of velocity is known as rate of change of velocity is known as acceleration so how can i write it acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time i had already told you children whenever the term rate is involved that means time is involved so velocity has change in velocity it now a change from 20 to 40 and then what time it has taken to reach from 20 to 40 or in other words I can denote acceleration, we denote acceleration as small a, not capital A children. Make it very, like keep this thing in your mind that acceleration is denoted by small a. So a is equal to v minus u upon t. Now what is v? What is u? v is the final velocity. v is equal to our final velocity velocity u is our initial velocity what was our final velocity in the example what i talked about 40 meter per second initial when it started it picked up from 20 meter per second suppose it has taken four second then if i put the values in this formula i get the value change in velocity what is the change in a is equals to change in velocity upon time so what is the change change is 40 minus 20 and what time it has taken 4 second that is equal to oh, sorry that is equals to 20 upon 4 that is 5 this is how we get the acceleration from our velocity acceleration means to accelerate Children, acceleration, now let me give you first the SI unit of acceleration. We know that velocity, SI unit of velocity is meter per second. It's meter per second. And what is the SI unit of time? That is second. If I take this second also here, I get meter per second square. Meter per second square. This is the SI unit of acceleration. So, what is the SI unit of acceleration? SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Now, children, acceleration can be of two types. Positive acceleration and negative acceleration. Now, what is positive acceleration? Positive acceleration is when you are moving in the direction of velocity suppose you are moving you are moving in the straight path you want to go to that side when you accelerate your scooter you move from here to there that is you are moving in the direction of velocity in that case it will be positive acceleration and when the acceleration will be negative Negative acceleration, another name is also there for negative acceleration that is known as retardation. Now I think if not negative acceleration from this word retardation it will be very clear to you. If it is in the opposite direction of velocity, how can an object move in the opposite direction of velocity? Suppose you are moving on a scooter all right, and your speed is 40 meter per second and then suddenly another car come a car comes in front of your scooter then what will you do you will apply brakes from 40 meter 
to zero. Applied weight means you want it to come to rest. That means you want it to stop. You want the velocity of the scooter from 40 to zero. From 40 to zero, it will take little time. Yes. Then that means if we apply the brake, we were supposed to go to this side. But now we have stopped here only. That means now we are in, at this point. We are not moving that side. We are here. That means we are in the opposite direction of the velocity. That means the negative acceleration means when the acceleration or when the motion is in the opposite direction of the velocity. When an object is moving in the opposite direction of the velocity, then that case the acceleration is said to be negative. Children, let me give you a trick here. Very easy thing to know whether the acceleration is positive or negative. Acceleration is positive when the speed of final velocity or you can say final speed. Here I'll talk about velocity only. I had already told you later on the velocity and speed will be same concept. When the speed or you can say velocity of the object is increasing. If initially it started from 20 and it has reached to 40, that means 20 is the initial velocity and 40 is the final velocity. In that case, if the velocity is increasing, in that case acceleration will be positive. And another example I gave you, if you apply the brakes, that means you are moving at the speed of 40 meter per second and suddenly when you apply the brakes, your velocity comes down to zero. When the acceleration will be negative, when the velocity will decrease, if the final velocity will be less than the initial velocity. Here in the second example, what I told you, you are moving with a velocity of 40 meter. 40 is your initial velocity and then you apply the brakes and you stop. When you apply the brake and you stop, that means you have come to rest. Your velocity or your speed has come to zero. That means your speed has reduced. It has come from 40 to zero. When it comes from 40 to zero, it means it is negative acceleration. I hope children, it is clear to you. Let me give you uh, in our everyday life, student, it is very, uh, suppose if the velocity of an object is changing at a uniform rate, Suppose when you started the scooter, the velocity, you took 5 seconds when you accelerate. It took you four, uh, 2 seconds, you can say, from 0, scooter is standing, 0 pe hai. Ab aapne kick mari and you started the scooter. When you started the scooter, you accelerate it. When you give it the, uh, uh, when you accelerate or when you give the race, then only scooter will start. When you accelerate, not start, actually it will move. When you accelerate, you have increased its speed from 0 to suppose 20 and it has taken you 2 seconds to move it, to uh, take its speed from 0 to 20. Then again, after 2 seconds, earlier it was 2 seconds from 0 to 20, now again further, more 2 more seconds, after 2 more seconds, its velocity has reached to 40, 40. Then after two, sec two more seconds, its velocity has reached to 60. That means the velocity is changing. Changing means earlier it was 20 when we started, then it reached to 40, then it reached to 60. It is changing. But changing at what rate? Changing at uniform rate. So in that case, the acceleration will be uniform. Children, uh, we'll talk about this in the next class. That's all for today. Thank you.